Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the Astrological Update for Gemini for the week starting the 1st of August. And there's a lot for me to remember this week, so bear with me. Firstly, we have Mars, the planet of action in your second house, and that is trining Neptune initially, okayly, in the 10th house of your career. So there's a chance for you to solidly, at the beginning of the week, to step forward and make a dream come true. That's the good news. But I'd hurry up if I were you. We have Be Mercury, the planet of communication, stationing, slowing down, becoming still in the fourth house. So there's a part of you that wants security and wants to communicate security, but then it shifts and goes retrograde, goes backward in your third house. So you might find, and as Neptune is also going retrograde, it's quite a confusing week, because you might find that somebody is backtracking on something that they've promised, or just as you thought you were about to grasp something solid, it all gets a bit nebulous and everything is floating around and you can't quite pin it down. I would suggest that you allow that Mars in the second house to keep you very grounded and very secure within yourself, no matter what happens. As a Gemini, you can flit here and flit there, and we don't want you chasing your beautiful twin-like tail this week, but just be calm. Know that you have the power. Mars is power. You know, Mercury tends to go retrograde occasionally, and yes, it is a bit of chaos for a while, and... OK, Neptune's a little bit more tricky because it, it means you're not sure of what's, what's a dream and what's an illusion and, and everything feels a little bit up in the air in a way that's uncomfortable. Because you're an air sign, you like to communicate intellectually and it's almost as if it doesn't make sense. It's all a little bit mysterious. Feel yourself secure within who you are. Write down your dreams. Know that whatever this kind of energy is towards the tail end of this week, it will pass. So even if somebody is being a bit flaky at the moment, that will pass. And let's face it, as a Gemini, sometimes you're a bit flaky or you're, you say one thing and then you change your mind and do another. That's not a bad rap. That's an innate part of your being. And often that ability to change your mind is one of the best things in the universe for you because you are not frightened to change your mind if you feel you've made the wrong decision. So really, the universe is mirroring that to you a little bit this week, but you can handle it. Keep being creative, keep communicating and just be still and grounded and watch. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.